Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. The famous Yankee Flying Tigers in China. For many months, their bullets held open the Burma Road, beating a deadly tattoo upon the planes of Japan's Air Force. Former Army, Navy, Marine officers, transport pilots, they're the last of the world's soldiers of fortune. Soon after the United States government decided in 1941 to provide military assistance to China, a squadron of fighter planes was deemed necessary to provide air defense over China and Burma. The American Volunteer Group, known as the Flying Tigers, was born. The ABG, flying as part of the Chinese Nationalist Armed Forces, painted tiger shark faces on their planes to intimidate the Japanese. The damage their aircraft inflicted, however, was much more intimidating than even the aircraft's appearance. The American volunteers serving with the Chinese Army have shot down 165 Japanese planes since December 7th. They have lost only 31 of their own craft. The leader of the Flying Tigers was retired U.S. Army Air Force pilot Claire Chenault. Brigadier General Claire Chenault, the commander of the group, is from Waterproof, Louisiana. And I quote a statement by his executive officer. In the opinion of each and every member of the AVG, General Chenault is the former exponent of the use of pursuit aviation in actual warfare. And I may add that there is not a man in the group who would not fight for him at the drop of a hat. In April 1942, Chenault was recalled to active service in the U.S. Army, and the Flying Tigers officially became part of the United States Army Air Force. Roaring aloft, they seek the enemy. Their flying generals still at the controls. The new American Air Force over China, carrying on the tradition of the famous Flying Tigers. I'm Ed Herlihy. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.